Hi, my name is Sean Johnson. I wrote, directed, shot, and edited for Kane. Hi, my name is Jonathan Smith. I also wrote for, co-directed, and acted as Tommy in the movie Kane. I'd say the main reason why we uh, filmed this movie is because, you know, we haven't really made a horror movie yet, and um, I get, you know, I'd say it's probably our favorite movie genre, and uh, we just wanted to give it a shot, you know? Well, basically, we have, um, we had a film production club that my brother and I created at the college we've been going to, and um, we uh, gathered people. Like we did um, auditions in the club meetings, and we gathered uh, actors and actresses. And we finally f figured out who we needed to play the roles, and we found people for behind the scenes and so on and so forth. Yeah, and I'd say you know, without the film club, I don't think this film would have been possible. This is where we, you know, met most of the cast for it. So yeah. Jesse is a character, uh, like a normal average guy, like you and me, someone that we want uh, the audience to relate to. Also played by Henry Perez. Jesse is just your average Joe. Um, he's loyal, kind, sincere, very good character, I would say. I think people are going to like him. If you're, if you're a father, he's the type of guy you want your daughter to date, you know? So that's kind of, I guess, what, what we were going for. You know, the shortcut doesn't seem very short. Whatever, it shouldn't be long before already there. Yeah, I hope this party doesn't suck. Who's throwing it again? Uh, you, you don't know? Nope, just tagged along. Uh, George, George from math class? He's throwing it. Wait, I didn't know that. <sighs> Why didn't you tell me sooner? <laughs> it's not my fault you thought with the wrong head. Well, that's real mature. Charlotte was more of the brains of the group. She was like the one that was kind of skittish and afraid and uh, always was kind of like trying to keep the guys with, from getting into trouble, I would say. Yeah. Hey, listen, I'm really sorry. I know this must be really hard for you. Listen, Tommy's parents gave this to me at the wake and you were more close to him than I was. I'm not religious anyways. I really wanted you to have it. So Kyle was played by Douglas Weiss, and um, you know we wanted to make him be kind of like the asshole of the group, but at the same time, he was also protective of his friends. So uh, yeah, yeah. What do you have to say? I would say that like uh, he doesn't show it, but he has um, tendency to be uh, what everyone calls uh, someone like him to be like a jerk. Yeah. Or. Um, not nice, um, and he uh, just says whatever comes to his mind, but he's there for his friends in a weird sort of way. Is that a good shortcut or what? <laughs> yeah, if it's the world's longest shortcut, but here we are. You keep complaining, you're gonna ring the doorbell. I got it. What's up with the mask? Shut up. It's a pretty stupid looking mask, but whatever. Hey, where's Tommy? Is he still in the woods? Wait, there's another side to him you don't see. Um, he hides all that through his arrogance, um, but he's a really good guy at heart. Um, he has a lot more to show, I would say. Yeah, and he's also, you know, like if there's a joke in the movie, you'll most likely hear it from him. I was actually originally going to write this film by myself, but I realized that I needed help. And at first I was going to write it with uh, Doug, but I realized I needed someone else. And I asked John, I said, hey, you want to write this with me? And he's like, yeah, sure. And um, I didn't know what to expect, and he didn't know what to expect. He was very like 
I noticed there's not a lot of confidence there again. He was like, I've never written anything before. So I'm like, oh, it's whatever, but we'll give it a try. We started writing and it just happened. Like it was just, it wasn't that hard, honestly. Um, he's a really good writer. He actually writes very fluent dialogue. You know, it probably took him like a couple weeks actually to convince me to even write this with him. Cause I was like, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't even know if I was even interested in making the film when when it, well, this all first started being started be discussed but eventually you know once we started with the first scene it just went from there it was, it was great and uh, you know once we finished obviously we got other friends to look at it we got his brother Pat and we got uh, Doug also and you know obviously we had to make some changes to it but you know it, it was it turned out fine the one concern I had was casting um, I we were very restricted with who to choose we only had a couple people to choose from. We didn't have like a lot, and I really wish that wasn't the case. But the film club was shorthanded, so we just chose who we thought fit best. And um, we had major scheduling issues. Like one of the actors, um, Henry and Lillian, actually had issues with their jobs were like so like it just. The scheduling was so bad. Yeah, like when Lillian would be working, Henry would be free. When Henry was free, Lillian would be working. So, you know, we had to figure out a, a way to get around that. And that also caused restrictions with the writing. The original script, <clears throat> the original script was actually supposed to have um, a graveyard scene when uh, Jesse and Charlotte are like, at the end of the movie, they're like trying to like uh, figure out what to do when after their friend dies, and they're uh, struggling. They are struggling, man. Um, uh, they don't know, and their their relationships kind of like screwed up, and it's a, it's a big test for them. Um, that was supposed to be at a graveyard in the daytime, but the scheduling is what changed everything. Um, yeah, for also, better or for worse, we don't know. Also, Kane was originally supposed to be dug into a grave, but obviously we couldn't do that, and then we had to, you know, had to end up, you know, burning him in the film. And also with that... Not real. Yeah, yeah, not really. But with that also, like, we would have liked to have burned him outside, not inside a garage, but with the way the schedules worked out, we could only film, get everyone together at night. So the garage was the only place that had, like, decent lighting. I would say um, Pumpkinhead was a big inspiration to the film. Just watching it, I it didn't... That movie has no... That, that movie, the ending that we had for our film, it's not a good ending. It's not like that, the typical happy ending. You get well, horror films don't have that. Pumpkinhead is very similar to that. It's a bittersweet ending. The main character dies. Um, you don't expect that. And, you know, the creature, Pumpkinhead, the guy gave us inspiration for our character, Kane. But he's not like a creature. He's an, it's a person, a demonic, possessed person. We wanted, but we wanted to give, um, give that to the audience. So sort of like a Halloween Type of vibe. I would also say Halloween too, and I would also say Jason from Friday the Thirteenth because not at one point he his Kane's face is never shown, and I think that's that's one of the good elements of a horror movie you want to include because it's the it's just the mystery behind it. The whole time you want to know what he looks like, and that just keeps the audience want to that's that makes the audience want to keep watching it. I would say the most difficult scene to shoot was the party scene because it involved the most amount of people. You know, you just had to make sure that everyone was focused and not that people weren't fooling around. And um, yeah, and luckily we were able to use a friend's house, and we weren't really supposed to stay there that long, but we ended up staying there longer than we thought we would. And luckily, the parents were okay with it. I think the most fun scene I filmed is actually the one with the priest and Cain. So all you had was two people. It was in the woods. Just you and the camera, and I felt like that. That scene was a lot of fun because I've never actually worked with someone as professional as Keith Viagas before. Very professional. He got. He was very into the film, and even behind the scenes, like he was like getting the character, and he got us all into the filming more. And I have to say that like that was a very fun shoot. I really enjoyed that. One thing I also have to add. I also did like shooting my scene when I. Uh, go back into the woods and uh, get my uh, my little flask because that's something my friends 
That's like, my character is the total opposite of me. So it was fun playing someone that I'm not. So that's what I'd say. So for the premiere party, I was uh, terrified. I didn't know what to expect. First time ever showing this to anybody. Really, like to an audience. Um, and we got a really totally different reaction. Um, everyone enjoyed it and everyone said they liked it. Um, but people did say that there were problems with the film. And we're totally open with, uh, so open with that, you know. Um, when, I wa when I was watching the film, like John and I, we had to sit in the front, which you never do. As a director or writer for your own film, you don't sit in the front. Because I had to stay still the whole time, and I couldn't look and turn around because I didn't want to see anyone's faces reactions during the film. It was pretty bad um, for us because, you know, we were terrified. Well, for me, I would honestly consider myself pretty lucky because Sean was pretty nervous going in because he had worked so hard on this. And me personally, I wasn't involved which mu with much of the production other than just being there when it was shot and maybe doing some acting and writing. So I got to go in mate, like not really knowing how the film was going to be. Sean knew everything about the film. So I, it was almost like I was just watching... A regular film like the new film coming out so yeah I'd say I, I, I was less nervous watching this as far as like thinking about how what people would think because even like I didn't even know what I would think of it until after I uh, certainly wish we could have uh, filmed in different locations like I wish we could have filmed at the graveyard instead during the daytime I wish that the dubbing was better I wish we could have had better sound quality for dubbing. We don't have the necessary requirements or tools to go the distance yet. One thing I would change is I would love, would have loved to have added another scene with my character, showing all the group of friends, you know, and giving the audience more of a reason to care about my death because I get killed off pretty early. And uh, I would also like to, would would have liked to have seen Marvin's character, you know, connect more to the movie, have more of a purpose because the opening scene is all you see of him and after that he's not involved whatsoever so but yeah that just came with restrictions so. I'll say this too um, some people said during the premiere that they wish the party scene was longer and I don't know why they would say that, I think it would have taken away from the movie, I feel like it would have been like just a party scene at that point the whole movie would have just been a party, that's not what our intentions were um, I also wish that um, when Charlotte says we have to burn the body, we didn't realize that there was a plot hole where like why out of nowhere would she say that? You know, like they don't even know who this guy is or like if he's alive or dead or undead or what. I would have definitely, if I could go back, I would definitely want to add a scene where if Marvin was alive, he would tell them like you have to burn the body or something. It's just to, clarify that so that when it happens and she says that like audience like oh that makes sense um so that's just a mistake on our part and we hope to uh, learn from them for our future films